local doctor is noticing a dangerous trend in her emergency room involving the gas nitrous oxide. And she alerted our Dr. Frank McGeorge during his weekly check-in of what's going around in hopes of getting the word out. Dr. McGeorge here to explain what she's seeing and why parents need to speak up. Nitrous oxide is super common in medicine. You may have heard it called laughing gas. Now, when used properly, it's very safe. Here's the thing, though. When it's used in a medical setting, we carefully control the mix of nitrous and oxygen. We don't give straight nitrous. So right off the top, inhaling 100% nitrous without a safe mix, that can be deadly. But the real concern is for chronic abusers. We have been seeing an increased incidence of nitrous oxide um, associated complications in our emergency departments. Dr. Jennifer Stevenson is the chief of emergency medicine at Henry Ford Health Fairlane. She says the problems aren't from people coming in high on nitrous, they're from long-term use. We're seeing patients present with neurologic symptoms, um, primarily like numbness, tingling, weakness to their arms, their legs, their face. They also present with dizziness, lightheadedness, and even problems with their coordination. Nitrous oxide is easy for people to get. It's the main gas used in whipped cream canisters. In fact, it's problematic enough that New York has laws against selling whipped cream to minors. That's not the case here in Michigan. Pure nitrous is inhaled for a quick high, and it's easily distributed in balloons that are filled using canisters meant to refill reusable whipped cream dispensers. And for what it's worth, I reached out to the Poison Control Center um, the, over this past weekend to see if maybe this is something we're only seeing in our community here in, in Dearborn and Detroit, but they confirmed that they're seeing increased use of nitrous oxide across the community. Because there's no simple test to identify nitrous users, when they have symptoms that could lead to permanent damage, Dr. Stevenson has a plea to patients. So it's really super important that patients be um, honest with us and forthcoming regarding their use of this agent. Now I'm gonna state the obvious. Abusing nitrous is bad. In fact, personally, I'm aware of many deaths in medical people who abuse nitrous. Inhaling 100% nitrous from a whippet or a whipped cream can is just plain dangerous. Back to you. Scary, Doc. There is an effort in Detroit to reduce nitrous oxide abuse and clean up the litter it creates. It's called the Southwest Detroit Whippet Wipeout Campaign. And we've got more information about that effort, including hotlines to get help with this story on the health page at clickondetroit.com.